We learned the first page of Pash Tazria, three my morning. The first Maimer starts with Isha ki Sazria v'yoldo zochor. Why, when a woman is first, is there a male? And when a man is first, is there a female? And al Rebbe explains it biologically how it works. And the Vortis, there's his scholarless. Even though Zohar is chesed and in the cave was gvura, but there is in a Zohar gvura shebechesed. And since the Isha is gvura, if he's first, so his gvura becomes an Isha, and there's chesed in the Isha. So if the chesed is first, it's a Zohar. We have to understand how this works and what's... Uh, what, uh, but that he, he teaches us the idea of his colorless. On the foothills of that mimer comes the second mimer, explaining why the North Pole is cold. And why this, the southern part of the globe is very warm. And he explains that Dorem is chesed. But since there's a skalus of gvura, that gvura makes it very hot and soften. Since he had a skalus of chesed, even though mitzofa in tiposach ro, and soften is ro, but there's a lot of chesed there because of his skalus. So that makes it cold, and that makes the world exist. These two Maimodim need some explanation exactly how it works with the hemisphere and with the Isha Mazra Astrila. It begs more explanation. The Alter Rebbe doesn't explain it. Then comes the third Maimod. The third Maimod is a very, very important Yesodistic Maimod. The Maimer explains a post. Says Tosis Vesogela Koro be kibbutz bonel sechu besimcha. How could an Akoro be happy with her kids? If she's an Akoro, she doesn't have kids. This comes the explanation. What does it mean by Avoido? What does it mean in the name Hashem? Because Klau, Yisrael is the Abish's wife. So when Yisrael is the when we work hard to be Me'er Aviyah to the Abish, we have boys. Boys means an hour of a year, a total beetle to the Abish. Even though by being Michal and the Rebishta, you will cease to exist, you don't care. You want the Rebishta. You're not thinking about yourself at all. And there's the old in the cave of you didn't initiate the Avatar to the Rebishta. Then you have an Akeva, it means you think about yourself, about what you're getting. You want to be close to the Rebishta. So you'd rather have Gandhian where you could enjoy rather than being Nikhla and Atsma Sumahos where you cease to exist. So this is Pshat Akoro. Akoro doesn't mean that she can't have any kids, but she can't have any boys. Sin she has Simcha Shal Mitzvah. Simcha Shal Mitzvah. Just it's a, it's guided by the Ibishta Simcha, and even though Alpi Maimir Kavamida. It should be since you didn't initiate the Ava. So you should have an Akeva. But since you have Simcha when you have a Mitzvah, you're excited to do a Mitzvah. That breaks all barriers and you get the Akotas happy with the body. The Rebbe finishes the Maimah that when you have an Ava and you forget about yourself and you just love God, and you don't care if you'll be bottle or not, 
like a nair, like a candle and a torch, it becomes part of the torch. Then you will never fall. If you're self-conscious, you'll fall. But if not, the Pesach says you will not serve your enemies, you will not fall because you forget about yourself and you just think about the Rebbe Shter, about being connected to him. If that's your only goal, you cannot fall. Amazing mind. Yeshikoyach, everybody.